You gotta be hard around Bam. She tall. Don't let that scare you. <laughs> what are you doing here? I had a little surprise for you. I know you always say you be wanting little stuff, so. She just, brought me a present. You know what I'm saying? Trying to post me up. Don't be. Uh -uh. That was a foul, though, but it's nah. cool. So I'm done with Erica, done with rehab, done with all them bad habits that your boy used to be on. Now I moved on to something new. I'll let you shoot. Hey, that's game. Oh, wow. What's up, wait? I'm going to get that ass again. I need a rematch anyway. OK, one day. I've been rocking with Bam for like three and a half, four months. But I'm trying to see what she'll feel like being my significant other. I mean, how many dudes can smash a girl and then go hoot with her? That was luck. That was luck. It was luck? Yeah. Like too much. And since I lost him, he did me so wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need like a massage. Shoulder. Yeah, well, shoulder massage. I want, what, what do I get? You lost. I'm, I'm spoiled though. Uh, I know spoiled you people, are. They get massaged when they lost. Well, me too. When Scrap was in rehab, he and I were talking, but he was definitely still wrapped up in Erica. Now that that's done, Scrap is giving me the impression that we're onto something pretty serious. Like, we together mm -hmm. and nobody else, right? I'm scared as hell. I want to jog up the hill. OK, so you jogging forward. past the hoes? Looking for So you jogging past the hoes? I'm jogging past the hoes. You need to be sprinting. I'm really liking being with Bambi Man, but I'm twisted right now, trying to see if I love him. So for right now, I'm jogging straight patty house. Wow. That's like a, so I like that. that's like a giraffe <laughs> jumping on a gorilla. So you have to tell me your name. Mama D is what they call me. Nice to meet you, Mama D. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I turned 40 this year. Oh, wow. I just turned 50. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I'm finna go introduce Bounce to, to Mon Dukes. <laughs> but when we get there, I see Mon Dukes got a whole nother situation going on. What's going on? What's up? What are you talking oh, about? I am just kind of it. I know I'm always badgering when I have a glass of wine, obviously. Well, Mon, you Bambi. Hi. Pretty? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know all about Bambi. It doesn't matter who my son brings to me. I'm going to do a background check. You can believe that. Mama's always watching over the palace, as always. You still in your palace? Always on the throne, baby. Here go my crazy mom again, and she talking about kingdoms and palaces and oh my. I believe Ma Deuce in her own little kingdom. Well, it has come to my attention that she is having another affair in L.A. An affair? Whoring around. I mean, we can name it anything. So I'm whoring around in L.A.? Mm -hmm. Well, you have a, another person that you're sleeping with, and you're using my son, and, and What exactly would I be using your son <clears throat> for? To get to what? where you want to be in life. Well, I'm on, already on. where I want to be in life. Did Mama D just call me a hoe? What is she talking about? I would love to be wrong, okay. but Will you, you do know he has more than one egg in his basket. I'm sorry? He has one egg in his basket. He has one egg in his basket? Always. What? I was on some Scooby-Doo type stuff. I was like, er, er. And what I mean by that, he wants to keep his options open. Do you want to keep your options open? Can my son be with just one? Can you just eat one Lay's potato chip? I don't think so. What is this egg thing, though? Like, I'm confused about the eggs. Well, what's the other Egg. He really like, doesn't want you, you to pay. Did you tell your mama about some egg? I don't like, know what an egg, egg is. That's what I'm trying to find out. What's the egg? You talking about another bitch? Like, you got another one? Listen, I thought the egg came from a bird, OK? I don't know. Right. OK, so we finna go. Wow. Really? <laughs> Watching that bitch. Even on a bad day, I have a good day. And that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. You're so handsome. See, I've been waiting, waiting for you. You've got that real, and I've been getting impatient. Searching for something that's true. That's what you do. What's going yeah. on, sis? Damn, girl, what you got? 
smooth like hey. oh, no, no. what's happening? You know that's what real women do. I go see homie Erica Pinkett, man. She invites me over there. And you know I always had a soft spot for her, but I walk in and I see the candles lit and you know the light low and stuff. So I'm like, <clears throat> excuse me, are we having prayer? Are we having sex? Does Bambi know you're over here? I mean, I tell Bam something like that, she gon' She will have a problem with you hanging out with your friend? Yeah. And I know you a sexy person and you got me nervous right now, you know what I'm saying? Why I got you nervous? Oh, You'll be alright. Come on down with the candles lit, you feel me? What we finna do? We're just talking. For real? I don't know why Scrappy's acting all surprised right now. He's been blowing me up and texting me in the middle of the night. He gets the invite and now he's acting like a little boy. What, because of a few candles? Do you keep it 1,000? I keep it 1,000. That little text that you sent me the other day. What did I text you? Uh, you need me? I was probably drunk, but, but on the real, it was on some, you know, when you call your friend, you know what I'm saying? And they don't answer the phone, you just let them know the serious of it, you feel me? I need you. I need you to holler at me. At 3 in the morning? I, I'm telling you, okay. like, I okay. go through my All little right. situations, you feel me? And I might need some conversation. You did. So I'm tripping. You just needed advice. Yeah, I needed advice. Okay, but I believe you. Because you keep it 1,000. I don't want to be a bad guy. Like, what makes you a bad guy? Because I want to jump out and grab you and do something strange. But every time I jump out and do me, Somebody get hurt in the process. Ever since rehab, you know what I'm saying, I've been trying to be a better person, you know what I'm saying, treat my lady band with some respect. I'm really trying not to think with my his head and think with my head, but Erica Pinkett is making it very extremely hard for me to do that. I can't help but to think what I'm thinking. I actually wanted to invite you over just to see if we could take this somewhere else. Cause I know you didn't text me just to get advice. But I did. But you didn't. She doesn't even know you're here. Obviously, you're not completed. If you were completed there, you wouldn't even be sitting here right now. Well, Charlie, like, do a lot for me. You know what I'm saying? She do everything. Are you happy? I'm happy. But at the same Are time... Are you in love? I'm not in love. Could you love somebody like me? Like, honestly. I want to love somebody, and I want to be loved, too. You know what I'm saying? I know that's what you want, you know? Yeah. But if it comes the wrong way, it's going to backfire. You know what of I'm course. saying? And I'm afraid of that. But I'm going to tell you, like, if I didn't have a girlfriend, it would probably be you. Because you're a beautiful person. I've been on the road, you know, handling my bed and getting that check up, and I get a phone call, you know, bam, talking about hurry up, come home now, ASAP, 911. I don't know what's going on. I just know she pregnant, and at the end of the day, I need to see what's going on ASAP so I can handle that. What's happening, bro? You good? Oh, I'm not good. I tried to call you when I was at the hospital. Hospital of what? Told me I had a miscarriage. some cramping and I called my doctor and they're like, oh, it's pretty normal. But then, you know, I woke up the next morning and the cramps were progressing, so I drove myself to the hospital. Why the hell like that happened? Like, that shit don't even make no sense, bro. I feel sorry for Bam mentally and physically, but damn, you know what I'm saying? It messed me up too, it got me twisted. I don't even know what to think right now, for real. I don't either. I mean, even though it was this short period of time, I just changed everything. And I feel like now, maybe like a disconnect, you know, like between us. You ain't disconnected from me no kind of way. If anything, it should make us stronger, come together more. 
because the sworn God told me I had me a little homie, you know what I'm saying, a little dude, you know what I'm saying? And even though I'm not in love with her, I do love her, so it would have been with a good person. But right now, we just need to go and get you right. And how are we going to do that? I don't know what you got to do to get them, whatever we do. Tonight, you know, it's my G-Day, and I'm turning 30, 30. This ain't no small accomplishment coming from a dude from the A. Get it. Can I get your attention? I want to thank everybody for coming out for my son's 30th birthday. He gonna take his rightful place on the throne. So I want you to come and taste this cake that the palace have prepared for you. And come on, Bambi, come on and feed it to him. Feed it to him. Oh, like, I can yes, feed him yes. <laughs> Oh, wow, give it up. Wow, yeah. Man, I invited all my folk to come out and show me some love, Charlie. And you never know who's going to come out and see you, boy. Hey, what's up? What's Happy birthday. You? How you what's doing? What's going on with you? Nothing much. Just here. You looking fly? I appreciate it. OK. Where's, um, where's everybody else at? Bam. And my mom is over there. Where? Seems like some eggs in the basket. He got bitches at his neck all day, every day. But what bitch is that? I have no idea who she is. So but what am I? That when she's going okay. kiss her. She must want to work for me. Come mm -hmm. on. Now that the Bambi and I have become allies, it's time for me to teach her the facts of life. Now she's pretty enough, but is she strong enough? I think it's time to find out. Seems like your eggs got oh, legs. Wow. And as I can see, some ass. <laughs> Whoa. This is Bam. Hi, how are you? My lady. This is my friend, Erica. I'm sorry to hear about everything that happened. What, what, what's everything that happened? You know, what happened with the pregnancy. I'm sorry about that. You told her? Why would you be telling her my personal business? No, it was like uh, some friendly type. How long have you been knowing her to be telling her my personal business, though? No, I mean, just a minute. I mean, you know, you know, I told her when we, when we met. But I'm saying, like, who she to be knowing my business. Well, you tell me everything, dog. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Bitch, hold up, hold up. 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 Hold up, neck thing, you feel me? Yeah, you guessed it. Your boy is up and down the board chasing the bam, you know what I'm saying? I miss her. I mean, I've been calling, I've been texting her. She ain't been returning none of your boy call. I handle it, you know what I'm saying? I got something for her ass, you know what I'm saying? Just a little sneak attack, man, you know what I'm saying? To melt that heart a little bit. Call it a puppy surprise, you dig? I bet you bam hop back on my Disney. You gotta be hard around bam, she tall. Don't let that scare you. <laughs> What are you doing here? I had a little surprise for you. I know you always say you be wanting little stuff, so. She just, brought me a present. You know what I'm saying? What is that? <laughs> Yo, Keto Taco Bell? You something like that, mother. <laughs> really? Like, you right. really? Is she gonna pee on the floor? It's just a little overwhelming. I've spoken with Scrap a couple times since we broke up. I miss him. But I'm not trying to deal with his drama or his mama drama anymore. And I'm not sure if a puppy can change the way I feel. Came here to bring jail in to see what's up with you. I miss you. You do. You don't miss me? I, I do. Do you really but miss But I don't me? miss, like, what comes with you. Like, your mom, your girl. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. Why not? Because that's done. Oh, is it? Like, I've been told you there's nothing happening with that. Nothing's is the gonna friendship happen. over? I mean, if I'm trying to sit here and talk to you. You're just trying to come see me and give me a puppy? But it's a cute little dog, man. I went out of my way to get that, man. You feel me? Right. For real. Just showing my gratitude and my love for you. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I want to be somewhere on some kind of level. But you don't know what that level is. 
What level do you want to be? I'm on? just asking. What like, level I'm, do you want to be? Because you keep asking me. No, like, this you is you. Know like, them. you're here, so I just need to be clear on what you want and why you here. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to get back together. We got to wait for that. But I'm just trying to Yeah, you get back together. Wait for what? Wait for, to see, you know what I'm saying? I mean, gonna get a hug, kiss, and something, you know? Something. Just give me something. Give me a kid. No, I don't. That's it. You knocked me off of my feet, baby. Whatever. <laughs> I hate you. Man, I'm feeling real hopeful right now. She loved the dog, you know what I'm saying? So I know she liked and loved the dude that gave it to her. But you know, I'm going to take it real slow. I'm going to work my way back up to that heart. And once I get into the heart, I win my way back into that <laughs> Putnai, you feel me? Are you going to love Jill? I'm going to love her. Take this was care, a great Jill. start. We going to have sex? No, we're not going to have sex. Huh? You gotta take me on a gang of dates before we get a popping again. Now that I closed the chapter to this Erica Pinkett situation, I'm ready to love my girl Bam again. I gotta show her that I'm the man that she's looking for. Last time I got her the puppy, but today, Sheldon, I got a romantic picnic in the wilderness. Waterfalls, roses, and chocolate-covered strawberries. <laughs> and I might have some for that she might just love way more than a puppy. Oh, Hi. What's up? Oh my, well, this is cute. Oh, wow. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Smell them. As you take a seat, mom. Little Dude, smile. what face. is this? I ain't never did nothing like this, so <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It like... Why do we have to come to the jungle? I appreciate all of Scrap's efforts, but he got me going through these woods like I'm on a safari or something. I know he better make this trip work out. How you like it? I mean, it's nice. I like it. Show me how much you like and give me a kiss. Is this for real? Yeah, it's for real. Oh. Mm. What you talking about? There's no doubt that I love Scrappy, but between his meddling mom and his side chick shenanigans, he just has too much going on. He's gonna have to come with something a little bit different this time. But I guess this Romeo stuff is a good start. What do you want out of life and out of this relationship? Well, I want a real clear, defined relationship, but I need to see something different from you. Let's fix a sandwich or something, because I'm, I'm home. Can yeah, you make I'm a home. sandwich and figure it out? No, can you? Can, can you hand it to me? I need okay. to, to hand it to me. It's a nice little basket you got here. Yeah. You thought it was a sandwich in there? No, it, it is. It's, it's supposed to be something. <laughs> shake it. Oh, shake it. Go ahead. You no, shake, shake it. No, shake it. <laughs> you shake it, it ain't nothing in there. You're not about Just to play with it me. Just flip it over. Flip it over. You play too. Wow. What the is that? Yeah. What is oh, that? No. I want you to open it. I love you, you know what I'm saying? I'm promising to be your friend, and I just wanted to let you know that you are special. You in my heart, you know what I'm saying? But it's real, you know what I'm saying? I love you. Okay, there's no doubt that Scrappy has a lot of history with his baby mama, Erica. And even though we thought their relationship ended last season, there seems to still be a whole lot of chemistry between them. Let's watch. You look good. Thank you. I see you. I see you. <laughs> you feel me? Let me see you turn around a little bit. Oh. You want to touch it, you can just touch it. Like, don't, don't act. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Bambi, how did it make you feel seeing uh, Scrappy with his baby mama? I mean, it makes me feel like Scrappy is Scrappy. Like, I, everybody don't gotta take everybody all that serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're dating, we have great times together, but I ain't trying to marry this <laughs> Like, is that not okay? trying to get married. Like, <laughs> like, is that cool, though? Like, you know I what I'm saying? Like, we like, have a like, great I time. Should, I should be able to see my baby mama how you doing, have a conversation. It shouldn't be 
like that. You feel me? But you cool. touched her ass. You licked your finger first and then playful. touched her ass. It was real playful. That was That's cool. what you got? Playful. Well, let's pull another card. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. Let's, when, let's when pull another card. Let's pull another card. Let's pull another card. Where was you just with me last week, Scrappy? Where was you? What this Baby mamas what can be side chicks, too. More? What do you have there? Let's just see. Just tell me what that say. Where we was? Okay. We were at the La Meridian Hotel. Who, who was you oh. And you oh. what? Scrappy, what do you say about this? When I say about that? I think that's your real name on it. When I say about this, I think I'm that's gonna your real name. When I say about this, we sat right at the bar. We sat at the bar the whole time. Up. Okay. You got towed up. We went up there, Shawda went to sleep, and I left. So you didn't <laughs> before you left? <laughs> no. And I put that on my daughter, cause I put okay. that on God. My well, we, ain't like, gonna, I don't, we ain't gonna bring the baby and God into it. Bring me the motherfucking Bible. I bring agree. me the motherfucking Bible. I and if you lie on the Bible. Can we, can we get a lie to take the test? Can we get a lie detector test? Okay, can let's get a lie detector test then. Can we get a lie detector test for that? I will put my hand on the Bible. No, no, we don't want a Bible. This is not a federal investigation. Period. Unless the judge tell me I got to take one, that's the only time I'll take one. You feel me? Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, 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 that's crazy. Scrappy answering each question truthfully with just saying yes or no. Very calmly, the test has now begun. Is this the year 2014? Yes. Do they call you Scrappy? Yes. In the last month, did you perform oral sex on Erica Dixon? No. Did you answer each question on this test truthfully? Yes. And we're back. Now, earlier in the show, Scrappy was asked to take a lie detector test about if he was still hooking up with Erica Dixon. Scrappy, you said no on the stage, but once we were backstage, you agreed to do so. So the results are in. Are you, are you ready? Sorry. Scrappy, you were asked if you performed oral sex on Erica Dixon in the last month. You answered no. The lie detector test shows that you were not telling the truth. Oh, <clears throat> oh my God. Thank gosh, you. I am just so disappointed. So, wow. <laughs> you said a month, right? You said a month. In the last month. Yes, it's been about two weeks. Wow. Oh. I, don't, I don't recall that. I don't recall that. <laughs> you don't recall coming to my house, us outside playing Uno. I remember that. Drinking to, what, two, three in the morning. We had a conversation, went back in the house, watched movies on the sofa. I dozed off, you woke me up, you pulled my pants down, and you proceeded to what? I don't remember mm. that. So what happened to the hotel? You really gonna lie? What are you talking See, about? See, the hotel was that. last week. That's the yeah. receipt. The oh, hotel last was last week. week. So we hooked up two weeks before that, and then we was at the hotel. I don't remember that. Scrappy, that you don't happen. recall none of this. That Can't trust them lie detectors. Huh? Can't I don't trust, trust them lie detectors. Envy, how do you, what do you say about this? <laughs> Just makes me feel like, you know, there's always gonna be this misperception it's a double, of it's a double it, standard. It, it definitely is a double standard because if I do it, I'm a side chick. But if she do it, she just the baby mama. I haven't slept with Scrappy in over a year. Mm -hmm. So this is something that just happened in the midst of us drinking, being there, but I stopped it before it went any further <coughs> for side chicks. So. You, I gotta have you, oh Lord. I gotta have you. Today is my baby's 10th birthday party, and I'm so excited. The fact that Scrappy and I managed to plan this party without coming to blows is a miracle. Hello, beautiful. Hey, daddy. Hey, baby. Good. Bambi and I in the same room is always iffy, but hopefully today she can understand and fall back and let me and Scrappy just be parents to Imani. Girl, you look just like your mama. <laughs> <laughs> my little lady, she the princess of the day. Now, I know me and Erica may not be on the best terms and all that, but we're trying to make this a real, real special day for the little princess. So we're going to push all that nonsense to the side, you feel me? Mm. And she looks good, yeah. 
I have mixed feelings about tonight. I don't mess with Erica, and she didn't want me involved in the party planning at all. Scrappy Erica and Imani will always be a family. And I understand that, but it does make me feel like an outsider on days like today. Since Scrap gave me a key to his house, I've been thinking about how much I want my own family and not to be a part of all this craziness. You gotta blow all on, like hit him. Erica straight up hates me. <laughs> Mama D changes how she feels about me every other day. And life with Scrap is just constant drama. I spent so much time helping him with his personal issues that I put my dreams on hold. And it's hard not to resent him at times. But today, it's all about Imani. I can figure out my own life tomorrow. Hi, boo. How are you? What's up, boo? How are you? I'm good. Tonight is the party for the video that Bambi did with this cute little artist named Loudy. So I'm here to show my support and to see who's this dude that caught Bam's attention. But I also haven't seen Rashida since my little run-in with Kalina. So I brought her with me so we can do some catching up. So the Bam, she was starring in a video. So I just came to see the video, check it out, see how everything was okay, going. Okay. They were close to though. Hold up, Bam. Wait a minute. Her and still together, right? I kind of don't know about that situation, like if they're together, if they're not together, you know they're crazy as hell. Look at this bitch so over here. I see Bambi over there looking real single. Scrappy's my homie, that's the fam. So I'm feeling a little uncomfortable, but I came out to kick it with Tammy to talk to her about this whole little Kalina situation. So Kalina, I was in the studio and I was like, let me call her. When she comes in and she felt some kind of way because she's like, you told Tammy, I'm trying to live in a big house and can't pay my bills like Steven and Justin. I said, that's not I what I said. I never said that you said that. <laughs> when I see this bitch is doing any and everything to just, I guess because she's unhappy to disrupt everybody around her, I think you should know the type of snake bitch that you have around you. Right. And that's why I keep it in my mouth and said something. Another one bites the dust, bitch. What's up, everybody? Appreciate everybody for coming out to the video release tonight. You know what I'm saying? I got my beautiful, wonderful leading lady with me, Bambi. She ready, loudy, storm, Bambi, man. The mo got away, chip out the mind, she sipping my name. She got up a second, she feel like the star. Y'all ready for, I ain't got an answer, I already know the answer. I'm ready, she ready, she ready, she ready, she ready. I like the song, I like it. The chemistry is crazy. Bambi sure look like she ready. And honestly, I'm trying to figure out what the hell she ready for. Oh, bitch. <laughs> Bambi and Loudy, they have a lot of chemistry on screen. I just hope my girl don't risk her two-year relationship because she's feeling down and out right now. Yikes. I'm really proud of this video. I've been sitting around not doing any work for two years. All everybody knows about me is that I'm Scrappy's girlfriend. So I did this to get back in the game. And getting to know Loudy, it's just a bonus. This is my friend Loudy. Hi. That was his video. Y'all just saw it. Love the song. OK, hey. I'm going to go get me a drink. OK, boo. All right. OK. So the dude, Loudy, is like on Elf Swag. So Bambi's damn sure looking like a giraffe, not a deer. Bitch, I thought we seen Scrappy walk up in here. We all was like, oh, like, oh. I think he's gonna sit this one out. Now, I don't know what's going on between Bambi and Scrappy. Normally, they rolling together. So it just seems a little odd that Scrappy ain't in the building. You I'm know. curious to know what he's gonna say when he see that video. <laughs> I mean, but what can he say, though? For real, for real. He can say a lot. I didn't tell Scrap I was doing this video, and I don't think he needed to know. If he was trying to do anything to help me out in my career, he would have did something in all these years we've been together. He might be like, you know what, baby? I support you. Girl, <laughs> In what life? <laughs> really, though? I'm just saying. You know, <laughs> this kid dream, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <This> kid <can't> dream. <laughs> but no. OK? So he going to turn up. It's going down. <laughs> I'ma be in these streets. I'm the one that gon' keep it G. Don't I feel worry. like right now, things in my personal life is going a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? Bam got the key to my house. 
my heart, you feel me? Me and Erica, you know, we just gonna let the lawyers work that stuff out, man. She end up with a G. So why things going good, shout her. Your boy Scrit Nae just jumped back in the studio, man, so I can get back to what really counts, this music. Don't worry about me. You better keep your eyes on your freak before she end up with a G. Why you worry about me? Kirk and Rashida hit me up, and they came through to check out my new single. Man, I'm stopping by later, too, to hear this new music I got. Man, I'm turned up right now. Damn it again, boy. <laughs> you already know what it is. So Scrappy hit up me and Kurt to come through the studio and check out some of his new music. And I'm sitting there thinking, damn, the timing is crazy. I'm curious to know if he knows about his girlfriend's new starring role in Lil Buddy's new little video. I was in crock mode. Man, that shit told turn, man. That my new shit now. You feel me? I'm trying to, man, just remix it and put that shit on radio, bro. That's right. You need to get it together, Scrap. Yeah. What's up with you and the, the wifey? Oh, good, bro. You feel me? Good, All good. the way good, good. I mean, I gave her a key to my Chris Nae. What? That's yeah. big yeah. scrap. What's going on? <laughs> y'all motherfuckers a little worried, man. Is you worried? You feel me? What is y'all worried about, man? Rashida was like, yo, I seen a video, and Bam was, you know, looked like she was kissing and hugging up on the dude. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. What you mean, a video kissing? That just me all the way up. I was meeting up with a homegirl of mine, and it ended up having to be like a little video um, premiere party thing. A video no, premiere no, party? No, she was the video girl. Huh? I mean, but I mean, they was acting, right? I mean, like, I mean, they don't look like acting from what I'm told. I thought you were going to be like, oh, we took a break. I figured, listen, if she hugging on a dude and it's visual and it's out there, you're going to see it. Did you know about it? I ain't know about no videos, like, mm. Mm. That just hit me from left field with it, because I ain't even know. Being somebody, man, you talk to them every day, they pull to tell you. Man, that like, I ain't with that I ain't with that sucker. Like, I'm, I feel lost right now, because I've been doing all the right things, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just moved this woman into my house. Hello. Oh. oh. Hey. What's happening? The Bambi. The Bam is here. What's happening? Damn, Scrap. You could have at least told us Bambi was going to roll through. I am not trying to be caught up in the middle of their relationship problems. Scrappy fam. So in a sense, we felt like we needed to let him know. But at the end of the day, that whole situation is between him and Bambi, and they need to get it together. Y'all hold it down. All right, no. right. Bam going to walk up in here like, it's all good. Hey, how you doing? What's up? Shawty, you got some damn explaining to do right now. I'm trying to figure out, like, how my girl, my lady, who I talk to every day, is in the video, and I ain't even know it. What's up with this uh, video? Uh, OK, like, I get it. Your little auntie, Rashida, came in here and reported. She was nah, at the little she... viewing party, so I'm sure she came in here trying to be messy. No. Don't even try to make it seem like Rashida wasn't your little informant. She couldn't even make eye contact. I cannot take all of this sneaking around and two Facebook <laughs> Scrap got half-naked women dancing up on him and all of his music videos. And he gonna try to come at me sideways for booking a job? So, I mean, anyway, beyond that, what's the video premiere? I it's a video. A I didn't have a video. premiere, but Loudy did. It was his video, and Loudy. I was in it. Yes. The producer, Loudy? Yes, the producer. I'm hearing about a video with a dude named Loudy. I'm like, what the hell you talking about? And then got a nerve to be up in the video with somebody all hugged up and all that. I booked a job and I did it. And I did it well. And Is they it said an he issue? was doing a little too, you know, too much. All in the ears. You do too and much in real life. That's what we're doing. That's where we at. So what do you feel like I'm supposed to do? I'm supposed to just wait around for you to figure out your life and just be going hard for you no, and you helping should have you. My, you should have my mother back. I have your mother no, back sorry. and that does not even appreciate it. I could have taken things further with Loudy, but that's not what's up right now. I'm just trying to worry about my own life and my own career for once. Instead of being consumed by Scrappy's career, Scrappy's baby mama, Scrappy's mama, and Scrappy's daughter. W what else do I get? You know what I'm saying? I'm fighting for you all day, every day. You don't fight for me. I do fight you don't do for you. For me. Don't you don't do f for me. No. Don't do Crap. Me. Listen, you in the f studio, you could have been put together. I am a rapper. Me. I right. be in the studio. We ain't even did no f 
song together. I'ma just do me. You know what, what I'm saying? Mean, I'ma just do me. I'ma just do whatever the I gotta do until you get your together. I'm done with it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want no baby mama drama. Take care of your baby mama, and then you come all hey. after Bam. Hey, don't walk out, no. I'm done. Cause you walk out, that be it. Goodbye. That's that be it. it. I've heard that before. Come back when you ready, when you got a bigger ring. Let me up, huh? So this fool Kurt had the nerve to show up to my modeling casting call. I ain't got time to be with nobody that ain't got my back. So you know how I did it, I just kept them pushing. See, my focus right now is business. So what I'm finna do is look at these headshots, you feel me? And then Russell Girl can start getting these checks. You expecting somebody? Probably Jock guy, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why Jock don't use it. Goddamn key. You here for scrap? Are you here for scrap? This is my first visit to this little bachelor pad. I've stayed away from Scrap, even though he's been texting me on a low. Oh, hi. But after finding out his little thirsty Instagram hoe is getting into fights with my homegirl, I feel like it's important to let him know that this is so not cool. What the f are you doing? Business. Taylor, can you give us a second? Please. Please. The last person I really expected to see was Pam. I've been texting her, I've been calling her for weeks now. And Shaw ain't hit me back one time. So now I'm looking at it like, why are you here? Who is this? That's my assistant. That's what so you need an assistant for? What are you doing? Got my modeling company. Man. You have a modeling company? Yeah. You love putting bitches on payroll, don't you? Are these the bitches that's working for you? No, these, whoa. First of all, I put women on. You couldn't even put your own girlfriend in no position. I could have. I feel like you're taunting me. You know what I'm saying? Taunting you? Yes. Like you you sending me all these messages as if you're so devastated and heartbroken, but here you are running a whole whorehouse. Wow. I am not my mama because I never ran a whorehouse, never had a whore. I don't know how a how you doing text message could translate over into I'm devastated or I'm heartbroken and I just want you back. I mean, I miss the girl and stuff, but ain't nobody talking about getting back together. Whoever this little bitch is you around with, Betty Idol, you flicking it up Whoa. on Instagram. Who, who is she? That's just somebody I wanted to work with. What kind of work? Studio. Did you want her to fuck your No, I'm over here working, You man. working? Did you know she got in a fight with Tammy? I mean, but that don't got nothing to do with me. Right? It has everything to do with yeah, you. She's just another artist that I'm gonna work with. What that you're going to work with yeah. still? I can't live. You can do whatever the f you want to do, but in the process, stop calling me and stop f texting me, okay? You can, you can, you can take your love friendship promise because you didn't love, you wasn't no f friend, and all your f promises you broke. So take don't that do, back. Don't do that. Yes, I'm gonna take no, my no, f dog. No, 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 you're not no, 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 no. I did not come, come here, Jilly. Come here, Jilly, See, baby. She don't even f come like here, you no more. Uh, hey, baby. I just a booze, woo woo. I just a booze, booze, baby. I just a booze, I just a woo. Okay, hi boo. Come here, Jilly. She, don't know you no more. she does know me. Put her at the you end left, of the table. You left her. How Instead about I put this. her right here? No, put her Just right for a there. second. Just for a second. Listen. Come here, Jilly. Come here, boo. See? I know. I know you're ready to go home. I know, boo. Now ain't that a bitch. Jilly act like I ain't the one that been feeding her, taking care of her. My mama Bambi left her for dead. Then he ain't come and see her when we broke up. But it's all good. A bitch is a bitch. And that's what Jilly is. That's where she gonna be. Well, do your thing naive then. You do your thing naive. You go ahead and you do whatever the you gotta do with Betty Idol, but you work with a bitch that had a fight with one of my homegirls, there will be no chance that man you gonna be cool again if you with this bitch. I hope you get her some food because you ain't gonna take my dog food. Hey, hey, you, hey. Fact, we need the dog food too. You good? Bitch, no, I am not good. <laughs> I'm nervous. My um, private is sweating. <laughs> Bambi and Scrappy had a bad breakup. Once Bambi found out that Scrappy was, you know, strolling around town or even having conversation with this Betty chick, I think she 
was over it and she went and got her dog, gave her promise ring back and she's ready to move on. So I'm doing what best friends do and setting my girl up on a blind date. Just loosen up. You're already on your third drink, bitch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need a couple shots to loosen up. I haven't dated anybody other than Scrappy in the past two years. Even though me and Scrappy been broke up for a minute, a part of me always thought that we might get back together. But after this whole Betty wanna be idol situation, I'm just so ready to move on and do me. I've been on tour, sold out shows. It's nothing like coming back to the A and chilling with my little lady, man. Tammy hooked my best friend up and her best friend up. I knew Chas for like nine years. That's a brother to me. It possibly could work. Look who we got here. <laughs> hey, hey, this Chaz. Hey, this is How you doing? Hi. How are you? <laughs> this Chaz, he's cute. He's just not as tall as I was hoping my next guy would be. He looks like Jesus. <laughs> I guess you look like the Virgin Mary. Oh, Ooh. Oh, oh. Are you guys ready to go? I already know what I want, though. What is it? Chicken and waffles. Oh, ain't that's what you just ordered? I did order chicken and waffles. See? I think we're off to a good start, but you never know what a guy is hiding. So I'm going to ask everything I need to ask. And if he can't make it through the interrogation process, then Maybe it just wasn't meant to be. When the last time you was on a date? I really never really been on dates like that. So you just slide up in the thing and just, that just be it? <laughs> <laughs> I know you have kids, I asked Tammy. So how do you have kids and you've never been on a date? I was young and wild. They were accidents, but blessings. Blessings in disguise. What about the baby mamas, are they? She's been having prior baby mama issues. Pass and pass. I only dealt with you one to... guy with one baby mama and she still wanted to and she's lucky I liked her daughter because That's I would have popped her ass in the mouth long The time dude ago. don't know how to handle that. Like, I'm going to introduce you the right way so y'all won't have that issue. Oh, I like him. Bammy had a couple of rough few months. I'm happy she kind of vibing with Chaz right now. What women don't like real We got superpowers, man. You must be nervous for him. For what? What you mean for what? Walking the park. <laughs> a walk in the park means easy. So you want to take a walk in the park with me? I might walk in the so park you with walk you. In the park. <laughs> <laughs> So I decided to take my mom out to brunch to show her how much I love and appreciate her. But what she doesn't know is Mama D's gonna be a little bit of a surprise. <gasps> Scrappy and I decided we wanted to bring these beautiful women together and hopefully they can hash out their differences. Either it could be a great day or a damn disaster. Ooh, yeah. hi, hi, how you doing? So Miss Deb is the mediator or the damn security guard. Cause you never know, bacon might start flying across the table when these two women get together. Or my mama might see Mama D walk in and hit the damn door. So I just wanted to bring us together just like a little mother's brunch. Well, you know, I appreciate it, <laughs> but uh, I am curious about these other seats. I get that, but I feel like today should be a good day. Rashida asked me to come in and be this mediator. So let's get this thing cleaned up. Come on, ladies, let's hug kiss and make up. We are mothers. We have to come together. Even though they're grown, they're still our children. What kind of example are we showing to the mothers out there? Hello. What's hey, up? Hey, How are you? Oh, what the What's up? You know what? Hey, you know what? Excuse me, boo. Hi, how are you? Hey, I was fine until I walked through the door. So I walk in now. I see Dave up to my right. Then I look across the table. There go Perlene, Shirley, Earlene, and Rashida. Baby, I wanted some goddamn eggs, not no right ones. Now it seems like me, my son, and my husband's up to something once wow. again. Wickle tree is this in the palace, and mm. the feeling is mutual. Come on, y'all. You're not gonna have that bull. I'm right not now. gonna do this. Well, so okay. So we're gonna be really nice. We have a nice little spread here. Deb was not there. No, so. she wasn't, but I gave her a full-fledged oh, front row damn seat dinner, rundown. But did. I know where you were. You were in court. And you had my back. And you had my son's back. No, don't start That's why that. Were. That is old. Wow. Scrappy and I, we had a little difference. Me and him and Kirk have all come together. The only thing that didn't happen was you two. And we just thought that if we bring y'all together and have Deb bring y'all to y'all senses because y'all ain't acting right. Rashida done hit me up talking about let's do this. Talking about let's trick our moms to get together to make peace. Now either we finna kick off the most amazing peace summit 
Oh, it's finna go down to World War III. When Rashida told me what had happened in the store with the, the bird nest and the straw, I just couldn't get that. She should have called her and asked her, was she busy? Could she see her somewhere else or anything but come in the store acting a fool? Now, you know I wasn't gonna tolerate that. So, yeah, wah, 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 wah. I told you then, and I'll tell you again. I'm listening. If you had sat in your nest and overlooked your egg, maybe she would have turned out better. She's the one that was on, should have been sitting on the nest and still trying to talk about me and my child. <laughs> Mama D sitting at the table, sprinkling around a feather like she finna voodoo somebody. Don't nobody have time for that. Did you take your medication today? No, I didn't. That's just like that damn mess. I didn't know if one of them girls had some voodoo dolls in their purses, but one thing I had in my purse, I had a feather. And I had to spray it with sage. So, um, literally, um, literally, I had to clear all the evil spirits. If I can't talk, so can you talk to him? Why is he here? Because he's like, my husband. Who? Oh, is, is that, that your husband? Oh. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, well, he, he don't do what he wanted, but he needs to do, but he's right on time, just like Jesus is. You need prayer, Mom. You need prayer, Mom. Okay, since uh, you she won't take tell, that you, goddamn tell you, I'm going to tell you. Your goddamn wife has a serious problem with alcohol. She drinks a lot. Are you going to take my alcohol? Mama D ass is crazy. And now her husband's saying she has a drinking problem? Now that would explain a whole lot. Because you're gonna put off my stuff? I'm just saying. For real? And then you need right. lubricant? Can I get you on get <laughs> I know you <laughs> I'm sitting right here like that's like disrespectful to your child. You feel me? Like, I don't think you should be saying that in front of me. TMI, TMI. Okay. Hold on, Mom. Like, be quiet. Real. You shut up, you got me in this boy. I won't even be him. You shut up. No. Listen. Oh hell. This thing is out of control. There's some deeper problems flowing on over here. Mama G's frustrated. She's sexually goddamn frustrated. So ain't nothing we can do about this. So 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 Mama D, you did not I'm take in responsibility for your own actions. Good that you say that, what? Princess Rashida. I'm not a princess, I'm just Rashida. In your shop. Had you not showed up. Mm. Wow. Well, first of all, no, he told you not oh, to do God. none of that, first mm. of all. Okay, and so just it. like Scrappy oh, said, God. that's why all his relationships be messed up. So you trying to take it out on me because bam, the bam not around? Earth the Mars. I'm very happy to know that they're not getting along because Bambi just went on a date with my nephew, with Chaz Gotti. Wow. Yeah, they just Did you know that? No. Nah. All this craziness and stuff going on around me and man, and then out the blue, I'm hearing Bambi dating somebody? Man, I wasn't expecting to hear that. And then I honestly don't know how I feel about it. And all I can think about right now is, wow, Miss Deb know, so I wonder who else know this info. Did you know about this Bambi date thing? I did. But I don't want to get in y'all You should have said something you was friends. No. Like a sister. You don't yeah. have to say no, anything. I think you should say something. I think you should say something. The thing is, she is not a starter. So that's why she kept her mouth shut. She's not Oh, but guess what? She's not a team player. That's, that's, not, being, sure. that's not being a team player. Uh, you know I'm getting ready to go. So listen, listen. I'm getting ready to go. No, listen. Let's go. I was just Oops. trying to. Oh, Perlene, clean it up. You Perlene. clean it up. Mama D over here acting like the witches of East Atlanta. Girl, you tripping, but I tell you what you do need to do. Get on your broom and shoo your way up out of here. I, I love you, Deb. I love and everything. you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I feel so bad. Chaz. Nice hey, how are you? Nice to meet you. It's so crazy how Bambi was in the club with another guy, but she's supposed to be like Scrappy's girlfriend. I was just surprised, and it was funny to me because Scrappy been hitting me up, FaceTiming me and calling me, and I'm like, what do you want? Don't you have a girlfriend? So it just explains to me why he's all of a sudden on my What's up? Not what? much, we're just chilling. I see, I see. Y'all like, we're dating. Cute. Yeah. For That's why Scrappy been hitting me up. Oh, for real? Okay, wait. So Scrappy on my ass asking me why I ain't tell him about Bambi when on the low you be talking to Dime and you ain't want to tell me about that Boy, stop. He didn't hit my line, FaceTime. He's free to do that. Right. Yeah. And I don't need to know I'm that. Like, what's going on? It's none of my business. Well, I said. He's none of so my it business. is your business if I Absolutely made it. Absolutely not. Why would you wobble your fat ass over here looking like a <laughs> bag of cotton candy? Super pressed for me to know that she's been getting texts from Scrap. And I'm just like, bitch, join the club. 
I don't even understand Blair. why you're sitting Blair. here. I'm okay. sitting here because I can't because I'm the queen and I'm that bitch. Thank you, I don't honey. know you. Why is Let's she go. even right there? I can sit here all night. Let's go. I don't want no parts of this. Bambi, peace, girl. Dime, get your ass up, all your big booty. Get it up, and let's go. Do you want me or Scrap? I can take your old <laughs> take your new because I'm that bitch. I just told Bambi that Scrappy had been hitting me up because it was funny to me. I'm like, girl, you done moved on. Now he's hitting me up. It was funny to me, but she took it all serious and got in her feelings and got mad. For what? I don't want your scraps. Get your little ugly ass out of here with them dumb ass oh, pink hair. Come you back. big, tall, Come ugly back. bitch. Come back. You're a big, tall, giraffe looking bitch. What the hell is going on over there? We're supposed to be turning up, not turning out. I swear you can't take these bitches anywhere. I'm with it. Come bad on. ass bitch sack. What's your name for? You want another And her new was looking at me on the way out the door. He was definitely looking at me. I mean, look at your butt. I mean, look at it, though. It's big. Bam. OK, right. <laughs> you had an amazing show, and you have a lot more coming. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Well, well, well. <laughs> oh, what you doing? <laughs> I was saying this. I worked so hard. I really, I really could use these right now. <laughs> See a strappy come backstage with these damn roses. <laughs> we could just split it apart. Right. Somebody needs something to make us smile at this moment. It's for the Bam stuff. <laughs> now, Bambi always talking about Scrid and I don't support her. So when I heard she was walking in Tammy Fashion Show, I said, hmm, I'ma support the band. Oh. Sure. Now this the woman that done been beside me through everything. I mean, we done got on each other nerves, broke up cause we needed a break, but now I'm here to claim what's mine. I'm finna get my old lady back. So Scrap stopped blowing up my phone a few weeks ago. I just assumed he met somebody. So when I see him here tonight, I'm a little excited. You know what I'm saying? I broke it off with Chaz. Scrap still has this little shimmer on me a little bit. So I'm happy to see him. Did heard some running around town with somebody else? I heard the same thing about you. I ain't got nobody else, you know what I'm saying? I just, you know, they been missing my boo. I ain't gonna lie, I do miss Scrap, but I'm not gonna fall for his little cute ass little puppy dog face. I was going out with somebody, but it didn't work out for me. Well, me being alone by myself didn't work out for me neither. So you brought some flowers? I just wanted to see if we can rekindle some things, you know what I'm saying? Okay, Scrap, like seriously. I'm saying you're like a, a, a floating goddess walking down the runway, and I was just like, wow, like that's what I missed. I'm gonna be floating down the some moon. other and it's gonna be an aisle, and it's not gonna be a runway. So I don't know if it's gonna be with you or with somebody else. I, I feel like you play a lot of games. Like you come in here with some flowers and think everything is supposed to be cool, and. It's not cool. Well, I ain't trying to look cool. I'm just trying to tell you I love you. Okay. You know, what I'm saying? You know obviously, like I do care about you. I do love you and all that. But you need to be really clear and specific. This is not the answer, okay? No, 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 no. We are the answer. Okay. Well, thank yeah, you for coming. I'll believe him when I see it. I know Bam is looking for more than I was able to give last time, but I think now I'm ready to do big moves, you know what I'm saying? You no, know, make them plays, you know what I'm saying? Show and prove, let her know what's real. Why am I here, seriously? They say you want me to step it up. I call it stepping it up. You feel what? me? Yes. This it's a wide nice. open space. Oh. Got the waterfall right here. You can have a stage, you know what I'm saying? You can be up here rapping and stuff. Bam, been tripping on me for years, y'all. You know what I'm saying? About not putting her on. That's why she got mad and took the dog back when she found out I was messing with Betty Idol. But now I'm finna show I can step it all the way up. You feel me? And then we can sit right here in the middle and we can just dance. I thought it was gonna be a stage right here. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was kind of cute that he had this big vision for me performing and all this. I mean, it's a nice gesture, but he needs to really wow me so I can really believe that he's gonna be committed to this relationship. Hey. Hi. How are you guys? Yeah, how y'all doing? Scrappy has made some grandmaster plan to win Bambi back, and he wants me and Kirk to be a part of it. So all we can say is, what you need us to do, Scrap? We're here this time. Mama D's hey. here too. Ernest is here. After I gave Ernest that one dollar bill, he didn't pack his bag. It really means a lot to me. Me and Ernest's marriage is on the men's for right now. We're gonna work things out just between the two of us. After all, it was the two of us that said, I do. I don't know what you're up to, but I love you. I love you too, Mom. Hey. What the f is Tammy doing here? <laughs>
Just because my love life isn't going according to plan doesn't mean I've given up on love. More deuce in the house. Mama. <laughs> what are you doing? Loving you, boo-boo. Now, I can't really see my life without Bam. You know what I'm saying? I done invited some friends and some fam from hers and mine to let everybody know and her know that I love the Bam. Do y'all know why y'all here? No. You know, she say I don't support her. She say I'm selfish. This is to show them that I really, really love you. To show them. I just wanted to just tell her in front of y'all that I love her. Aww. You feel me? Can I do it more? Can, is, is, can Do you give me permission to do this? Because I'm oh trying to do it. Gosh. I'm trying to do it. You have my blessing. OK. Bam. You marry me? Well, will you then? Don't marry me? What's happening? Man. <laughs> huh? Would you marry me? You say yes? She said yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, Feel good about being back in the city, bro. I kinda do too. I miss the A, man. Hey, man, my wife, Bam, she ain't been really feeling good, man. Uh, even trying to even be around people. But Mom Dude said she wanna sit down and have a real chop up with the Bam. I'm just gonna drop my wife off. You know what I'm saying? Cause wifey say she down with going to sit with my mama and that's what she wanna do. And whatever a pregnant woman wants, a pregnant woman gets. So, I mean, who are you told? I haven't told anybody except for. My mom, I mean, I thought we weren't really telling people, but why are you asking me that? I mean, you know what I'm saying, you know, okay. you get around. Okay, as soon as you do that, I mean, what happened? I'm saying, I told Stevie, you know what I'm saying, like, you know. So you told Stevie? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I understand, but do you think he's gonna, like, tell people? Nah, he ain't tell nobody. Like, Jock ain't gonna tell nobody me. I know Jock ain't gonna tell nobody. Wait, you just said Stevie. No, nah, but I told Jock too. Who else did you tell? Huh? Oh. Uh, I mean, well, this person don't even count, because it's family. You know, it's family. You know what I'm saying? Who? Oh. Uh, my mama. <laughs> I thought we weren't going to tell her right now. I, I had a real good conversation with her, and I was for real. I was looking at her. I was like, hey, I don't want nobody to know. She ain't gonna say nothing. How much you wanna bet on that? It's not that I don't want Mama D to know about the baby. I just wanna keep it between Scrap and I right now. You sure you don't want me to join you and my mama for dinner? No, why? Cause you know, if you can't handle her, you know I can handle her. When have mean. I not been able to handle Mama Cause D? you know she'll get a little too amped up. At first I was a little bit nervous because of the history I've had, but I'm about four months now and the doctor says that everything is looking great. for any nonsense right now. So hopefully, Mama D is on her best behavior today. Oh, 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 hi. Oh, hi. Oh, okay. oh, these are mocktails. I should have known Mama D was up to something. She just could not keep anything simple. I'm happy to see Tammy and Rashida. I mean, once upon a time, they would have been the first people I would have told about the baby. But now, here we are. I don't know what the hell is going on right now. I feel like I'm in a twilight zone. But I was coming to have a little dinner with Mama D, and it was a nice surprise to have you guys here. Oh, oh so did you want to invite it? Oh, oh, girl. So I thought if I give Rashida a call and Tammy a call, because we all are moms, it would help Bambi feel a little bit better about her condition. I know no one's supposed to know, but I can't help it. I'm going to pick with you, bitch, Miss I eloped. Right. I'm like, really? We had a whole bunch of stuff going on. So I didn't really want to involve anybody. So I want to share this with you guys. Mama D, what the hell you got? I don't listen. When I come with a guilt bag, you better watch it. What are you doing? So I thought this newborn. Oh, that's right. cute. Little In time. there, yeah. Mama D, what exactly are you doing? What's going on? Ernest knocked you up. Ain't no more chocolate in this factory. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I wanted to, you know what I'm saying, have a moment to tell y'all, but since Mama D bringing out bags and 
onesies and all that kind of stuff, I'm sure that's a dead giveaway. Mm -hmm. that You're pregnant. You know, You're pregnant. pregnant, yes. What? Yeah. Yeah. My son Scrappy can't be mad at me. Then be told on herself. You can be a good mom. I always oh, that. Thank you. you have always been good. Been good. Yeah. Tammy and Rashida knowing about the baby is definitely not the worst thing in the world. I mean, they are moms. So it's probably a good thing that I have somebody that I can relate to right now. I wanted to tell you guys in a different type of setting, setting. but okay. it's okay. But um, you know, I just don't really want everybody to know right now in the world because you know it's so many opinions and doctors and telling you what to do. I love you. I, I love will. you too. But I respect please. that. I oh, promise. Okay. I said okay. I promise. All right, promise. thank you. We'll keep it within these walls. Okay. Yes. Congratulations okay. to you and Scrappy. Okay. We're so happy for Grab you. Grab your mocktail. Water. 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 kind of sick and all that lately, so I just been taking out. And see, I'm trying to get Bam to relax, you know what I'm saying? So I pull up to the crib, and this a whole damn construction crew there. Folk, I don't even know. That ain't relaxing. It's in our truck, man. Your yeah. truck is in the driveway. Miss Deb hired us. I think y'all got the wrong house. Miss Deborah oh. don't live here. Somebody in there? Yeah. What is going on, Mama D? Uh -huh. What are you doing? What the hell? We're having a baby. Oh. No, we having a baby. You having a mental breakdown. What's going on with you? The prince or the princess is coming. I just thought I'll take it upon myself okay. to surprise you both. I'm painting, I'm baby proofing, and I'm building a nursery. I'm just so excited about Bambi and Scrappy's future prince or princess. So I just want to do a little something just to show my love and support. Because after all, the palace got to get they self in order. Now, I understand you excited, but this is too no, much. Look what I got to see. I'm not finished with this. Are you going to my refrigerator? Yo, what are you doing? They're my helpers. Wow. Yo, did you pay these people? Yeah, because we're painting. No, oh. you're not painting anything. This is okay. crazy. Like, my all mate. this. Can you Look. see this? No, because they're Wow, who is coming from the palace? That's in my room. Yeah. You need to come all the way this out. My mom, the only mama that I know to feel a goddamn nurse. Mom, kitchen. What we eat at? You can't just come buying stuff and doing a whole bunch of work. Yeah, but I just thought I'm going through enough. Ernest is back home. He back home? Yes. First I get back in town, more dudes hit me with the Ernest don't drugs. And now you talking about letting the dude back in the house. See, you and Ernest gotta tighten up, Ma. If y'all married, then he's classified as a grandparent. Me and Ernest had a heart to heart, so he's gonna try a little bit more. I love him, I believe in him, and I'm willing to give him one more try at my marriage. All right, no, we I'm don't gotta saying, make this got... a Ernest session. Like, I really want you to understand, I'm really, really not feeling I'm well. Do. I don't mean to upset you. I was trying to keep it between the family, now it's all, you know what I'm saying, yeah. in the streets. We're gonna put an end to all this, okay? Okay. Because I've been giving you passes. You've been doing the most. Okay. It stops here. I'm just saying. We just gotta do better. Well, I'm pleased with that. So, with that being said, I'm gonna go. And so I'll just walk out like I came. Okay. I'm doing the John way. I'm too fancy for my pants. How you leave? How you gonna get them? Baby, I got a horse. We got to clean it up. You got to clean it up. Yo mama, yo mess. Me and my beautiful pregnant white bam, we living good. I mean, until I got in the car accident and crushed my foot. What happened was, I was kicking it down in Miami. Now see, I wasn't buzzed or nothing like that, but your boy show hell was tired and passed the hell out. Me and my friends saw somebody class. We already have the police on the way, OK? Then your boy woke up in ICU with a broke foot and with my wife, Bam, right there by my side. And because I've been hopping around on one leg, and we sitting around here waiting on Bam to boop, we had to come kick it with Mom Deuce. Thank you. Bam, Mama Cece, them flew all the way down to the A, 
from L.A., and now she living with me and Bam at Mama D house, too. Oh, my God. I do need some help. Can you put some ice in this kitchen? Yes, I can put some ice in the kitchen. I love that the kids are living with me, but I've been tolerating this bitch, Cece. D, what is this? Corn. What kind of corn? What is that? Um, you cooking and you don't know what the hell you putting in it? The former Mama D would have snapped on this bitch. But since I'm grown, I can keep my illicit thoughts to myself. So we have some fried chicken, which I did. Ain't nobody asked me how I was feeling, how my foot feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, how's your foot? My foot is healing very well. That's yeah. because your mother-in-law is always soaking it and making sure that it's okay when your mama ain't nowhere around. Man, I'm so proud of Mom Deuce right now. By the way she treats Cece and all, I know it was a big ass compromise, giving up her whole house, letting everybody stay there and stuff. I think Mom Deuce is actually turning over a new leaf. She might be different, Jack. So, but can I say grace? Yeah, sure. Yeah, we need to right now, anyway. Amazing grace, how sweet the Sound. When you say grace, you want to say grace. <laughs> this is really fixing to be my grandson's grandmother. She don't approve by the way I say grace. She don't approve of me at all, but that's okay. I'll try to live by example. <laughs> but bitch, you're testing me, CC. Y'all just need to learn how to coexist. At the end of the day, it's all about family. Yes. That we're going to eat. Right, I'm starving. We are, but we, you know, it takes time to get to any place. Last year, we moved out the townhouse because we were getting ready for the baby. We needed something bigger. After we came back from Miami, we ended up having to stay with Mom Dukes for a minute. And clearly, staying on the one roof at Mom Dukes' house ain't working. This don't look like no restaurant. Voila, here it is. This is our house? This is our house. Oh, my gosh. Oh, boy. <laughs> you said, you know. <laughs> you said, you know. Congratulations. I'm not hungry no more. I knew this was going to happen one day. But with everything going on with my moms, the baby about to come, this is just like a huge relief. You got some of our stuff in here? Yeah, that little song is just for you, you know, and our little family, you feel me? <sighs> this is amazing. I feel like a big weight has been lifted off my shoulders, for real. Hey, we got so much room in here, you know. Mom, dude, you can come on down here and stay. Oh, how you sweet. You got to wait, you feel Yes. Come on over and stay. She OK? What's wrong? I don't know. Let me go see what's going on with Dee. You did good, boo. I'm really happy, and I'm proud that you just took the initiative. I know what you up to. You don't curve your way into this goddamn house. I have house. curved my way into Yes, you work. have. What the f are you talking about? I know you're up to something. That's you what I know. crazy. You know what your manipulative ass. I can't okay. stand you. Oh, you know what? And I'm not oh, doing God, this. Really? Not How, do you, you hear me? Hey, 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 hey. What's going on? I don't need to calm down, man. I got new neighbors and stuff. I don't need all that. But why is she invited? What you mean, invited? You just told gave her a room, really, Scrappy? Yes. I ain't invite Mom Duke to come stay with us because she already got her own house. You know what I'm saying? A couple miles away from her. Now, I thought moving CC into my house, giving her a room, would get her out Mom Duke's house and keep the peace. You know what I'm saying? And not stirring up, cooking up some whole new beef. When my daughter goes into labor, I will be right back. This, I can't do. No, 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 you can't. I can't do this. Uh, I can't do no, this. We, 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 I cannot do this. We, we, I can't do it. See how she's running out on the whole conversation? We're gonna get from right here all the way down. We are gonna be a family. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be a family. But we're not gonna go into another grandkid with the craziness. That's what we're not gonna do. Feel me? And I'm finna take the front row seat, Jack, and deliver this baby. So I ain't leaving till I make you feel like nothing's wrong. Like nothing wrong. Now I done done this before, obviously, 
But everything's different now. <laughs> Hell, I'm grown. This is finna be my baby boy. Scrappy is gonna have so much fun with this little boy. I can already hear them in a the backyard playing basketball and Scrap teaching Breland his little lingo. <laughs> Now see, I love Imani. Imani, that's my heart. We partners, you know what I'm saying? But my son, he gonna come with it, Jack. Hey, there's another guy out there on my DNA. <laughs> and he's coming to you, so you better watch out, world.